channel or welcome back if you've been following for a while and welcome to my kitchen today i am really excited because i get to show you a reveal of the makeover we have been working on in our kitchen so to give you a little bit of background we moved into our house about four years ago now the house itself is about 20 years old and the kitchen had not been touched since it was built and i know this because we know who we bought the house from and they bought it brand new i will pop in here some little clips of what the kitchen looked like when we moved in it was very kind of orangey wood cupboards they were green tiles they were kind of black worktops it there was nothing functionally wrong with our kitchen whatsoever it just really was not our style we didn't particularly want to rip the kitchen out when there wasn't really anything that wrong with it functionally speaking it, it's a hard working room it works hard for us it's a dining kitchen so we are in here a lot but we just wanted it to feel more us and i feel like we've done that this is very much a like stage one makeover we would eventually like to have a brand new kitchen but right now like i said there's not a lot wrong with the kitchen that we've got but it did need a tart up and the tart up has completely transformed this space for us and we love it now so i thought i would kind of grab hold of the camera and i will walk you around and kind of talk through some of the bits and pieces that are in the kitchen and some of the changes that we made to kind of make it feel a bit more us I'll pop as many links as I can remember in the description box to supplies and stuff that we used. But if there is anything that you're interested in and I don't mention it, please just ask in the comments and I'll let you know if I can remember. So as you come into our kitchen, as I already said, it's a hard working kitchen. We all sit in here for our meals, which I like. I actually really like the fact that we can sit in our kitchen. It feels really kind of cozy and nice that we can all be in here together. And actually it works really well when you've got children who inevitably want an extra spoon or something else and it's convenient that it's all in here in one place along this wall here we've got kind of a dark navy this is color matched it's valspar paint but it's color matched to stiff key blue by farron ball um and then we did these um scaffold shelves ourselves they're proper scaffolding planks complete with the kind of metal bits um we did those ourselves sanded them down um, treated them and then all of the bits and pieces that are up there the jars with the kind of bamboo lids are all from Ikea and then there's a selection of kind of Rich's recipe books and then these I think most of these little baskets they either came from Ikea or they came from HomeSense I can't actually remember where all the wicker baskets came from and that heart I've had for absolutely years so I'm afraid I don't know where that one comes from so the main makeover that I did was that I painted our cupboards. So I know I have got a pic before picture from this angle, so I'll pop that one in so that you can see. So I used French Chic paint in the color Dazzle Me on our cupboards. It took four coats there or thereabouts. Some of the, some of the cupboards kind of got away with three, but I did these all myself, which I think makes me feel even prouder because it's all my own hard work. Um, you just have to make sure that you sort of sugar soap down the covers first and then give them a really light sanding. And then if I kind of come over here, you can sort of see, I don't know if I can get it to sort of focus on what the finish is like. It's a really kind of nice matte chalky finish to the cupboards. They look, I think, like they've been kind of professionally, like they've been fitted. The only dead giveaway is that I did not do the insides of the cupboards. So it seemed a bit pointless to be honest. Maybe I'll do it eventually, but can't see them so I'm not that bothered. The tiles were from a company called Floors and Walls, Walls and Floors. Like I said, I'll pop the link in the description down the bottom. And we did have um, the tiles done professionally. So they were fitted by our sort of plumber tiler that we know and I'm absolutely thrilled with them. We went backwards and forwards between having the traditional kind of subway brick style layout of the tiles and then having, Rich was really anti having a traditional herringbone. And so we went with what they call a straight herringbone, which is obviously like the herringbone, but straight. And I really like the fact that I think it just adds a little bit more fun. It looks a little bit more quirky, a little bit more interesting and a bit more interest 
than it would have done I think if we'd gone with the the more sort of traditional brick style they're showing up there we go it's a better angle they're showing gonna say they're showing up really dark on camera from that angle but they are a really lovely kind of navy tealy colored blue that matches really well actually with the stiff key blue on the other wall so you've obviously got the tiles along there and then you've got the blue and I think you don't really kind of get them in the same eye line very often there we go you can see and you can now see my lovely orange door the reason I haven't bothered to repaint the door is because the door is being replaced so we're still at the midway stages, definitely in this. There are definitely some bits and pieces that still need finishing off. The other big change, aside from the tiles and the cupboards, is that we did have the tops replaced. We toyed with getting real oak, but we decided in the end to just go for kind of a faux oak type. It's actually cedar wood, I think, because we preferred the, the kind of color tone of this particular worktop. But I like the fact that it warms it up. I toyed with a kind of white, quartzy type top for a while but I think that the it would have been a little bit too stark and a bit too monochrome and a bit too clinical and I like the fact that the the kind of wood tone kind of warms it up a little bit and I have got some sort of wooden accessories in here so we've got a fruit bowl here this is from Ikea these fake plants and fake pots were also from Ikea the trim hasn't been finished on the windowsill yet got the um, window guy coming back to just finish the trim the tiling needed to be done first this faux plant I think was from Sainsbury's but it's quite some time ago now the toaster is Julet we've had that toaster for ages and for me toast is like a food group it is one of my favorite things and this is the best toaster I've ever had so it's worth those extra pennies for the Julet the chopping board is just from Ikea. I forgot to mention earlier actually from when we moved in we have also replaced both the hob and the sink. So the sink used to be stainless steel and we've replaced that with white ceramic and actually the hob used to be white and we've replaced that with stainless steel so we've done a bit of a kind of switch around but the new appliances definitely make a big difference and the new kind of sink just kind of lift it up and make it feel really new. This kind of little area here of like bits and pieces that I like fancying around with with is um the utensil pot was just from amazon it's just got all our like normal cooking utensils that we use the little stack of pots here we use these for um like prepping ingredients for things or just for kind of popping things like sweets or ice cream or nibbles and stuff in the little pots are from mason cash at um john lewis and the kind of terrazzo terrazzo never quite sure how you're supposed to pronounce that that platter behind is from the Leon range at John Lewis. And then over here, we've got just our kettle sat here, it's a Julet kettle that goes with the um, toaster. But I feel like this sort of section here needs something. I don't height of a plant, I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think I should put in that random little gap, because I just feel like that little space there looks a little bit empty at the moment. Then the oven is the only appliance that we haven't really replaced, so that will be done in due course. But for now, it works and it looks fine. And then this section over here, still a little bit more rough and ready, because we have got a carpenter coming back to kind of help us build out this sort of cubby section down here so that I can store all my washing powder where I don't have to actually look at it. And then along here we've got Rich's Pride and Joy, which is his La Creuset, La Crusoe, however, we did, I remember us Googling it, I'm sure it's La Creuset, you're actually supposed to pronounce it, but La Crusoe, I think is what most people say. Um, that's Rich's Pride and Joy, that pot, and there's just the blender, and the microwave, and the little meal planner down here. This, we've got some lovely wiring, it's switched off. Um, we've got some undercovered lights that are due to go in. Again, like I said, we're not quite finished. And this section is not quite finished. This is gonna have all the spices and herbs. But you know, this is some, you know, Insta versus reality. My spice shelves currently are an absolute mess because I'm waiting for the new pots to arrive. So that's my new kitchen. As I'm sure you can tell, I am so thrilled with it. Like Rich and I both, Kind of come in here now and just look around and we're just so proud of it and it just feels so much more us i know i've said that so many times but like i said there was nothing 
functionally wrong with our old kitchen. It just didn't feel us. It felt like someone else's kitchen. It was not our style at all. And now it feels so modern and bright and it feels bigger because it's like brighter in here, which I absolutely love. And I also love that we worked with what we already had and that we, while it wasn't a cheap makeover, it wasn't massively spendy either. I'm really pleased that we've managed to make it over and that we've managed to give ourselves a new room that we really love. So do let me know in the comments what you think of our new kitchen and do let me know what should go in this random little corner here because I'm scuppered. I don't know what to put there. Um, thank you so much for coming and spending some time with me today and I hope you have a lovely day with the rest of your day, whatever you're doing. And I will see you for another video really soon.